Your doctor has recommended that you have a hysterectomy with the removal of the ovaries and fallopian tubes. But what does that actually mean? Hysterectomy is the removal of the uterus, the organ that holds and protects the fetus during pregnancy. Hysterectomy often also involves the removal of other parts of the reproductive system, including the ovaries, where eggs are produced, the fallopian tubes, which carry the eggs to the uterus, and the cervix, or neck of the uterus. There are many different reasons why a doctor may recommend this kind of surgery. In many cases, disease or the growth of abnormal tissue will lead a doctor to recommend the removal of the uterus, the ovaries, and fallopian tubes. In some cases, unusually heavy menstrual flow and the accompanying discomfort may make hysterectomy an important treatment option for patient and physician to consider. But no matter what the reason behind it, you should be aware that the removal of the uterus and other reproductive organs is a serious step and it can mean significant changes in your life. After having a hysterectomy, you will not be able to have children and because your ovaries are removed as part of the procedure, you may even need to take medication to replace hormones that your body once produced on its own. So make sure that you ask your doctor to carefully explain the reasons behind this recommendation. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to an operating table. In the operating room, a nurse will begin preparation by shaving the abdomen. The anesthesiologist will begin to administer anesthesia, most probably general anesthesia. The surgeon will then apply an antiseptic solution to the skin, place a sterile drape around the operative site. After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, your doctor will decide whether to make a vertical or horizontal incision. An incision is made cutting through the skin and muscle of the abdomen. Next, the surgeon will inspect the general condition of the abdominal organs. Once the ovaries are exposed, the uterus can then be separated from the bladder. All arteries, veins, and ligaments connected to the uterus, ovaries, and fallopian tubes are tied off and cut. Now the uterus can be pulled upward. This stretches the vagina, allowing the surgeon to cut the uterus free at the cervix. The surgeon closes the top of the vagina with stitches and provides added support by attaching the ligaments that once held the uterus, ovaries, and fallopian tubes in place. The incision is then closed and a drainage tube may be left inserted at the site. Finally, a sterile bandage is applied.